Shalom. Call me out, Shalom. Call me out, Shalom. Shalom. This is Brother Yardan with the Sons of Thunder. Right. We out here with the brothers on this cold day, on this cold Shabbat, to try to edify our people. Uh, we're going to start off in Deuteronomy. Just going through a few precepts. Uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people upon himself. Unto. Uh, unto himself. There you go. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Uh, that's it. We're above all people. You know, the Most High chose us out of everybody on this earth. He chose us. How you doing, sister? And with him choosing us, with him choosing us, we have a responsibility to keep the commandments, to uphold, uphold righteousness as much as we can in this wicked nation. That's right. All right. It's in that book bag. You know where to get it. Go ahead, Doc. Uh, we're going to jump to Syrac. In the underside. Underneath, like, where am I? Uh, four and, uh, Baruch. Baruch 4 and 6. Hold it. Hold this for me. Hold this for me. We're going to get his sister right here. Under, under, under the book bag. Baruch. Chapter 4 and verse 6. Ye were sold to the nations. Not for your destruction. But for what? But because you moved God to wrath, he were delivered unto the enemies. Come, we weren't being that special people. We weren't being that those holy people that we was meant to be, that most the most high created us for. And because that we weren't being who we were supposed to be, he put us in a position that we're not supposed to be in. And we're in that position today. Bring it out, out. Keep reading. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to God. We provoked him to put us in this position. That's right. We provoked him, you know what I'm saying? If, if we was doing like what we were supposed to do, we was keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, we was keeping the faith in the Shai, and we wasn't sacrificing the idols, trying That's to be right. like this nation, trying to be like that nation, then we would be on top of the earth and we wouldn't be in this position, in this lowly position. That's, That's right. right. Keep reading. Ye have forgotten the everlasting God that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. That's right. Go ahead, uh, go ahead and bring that out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 16. Bring it out. They provoked him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations, provoked they him to anger. That's right. They sacrificed unto devils, not to gods, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up whom your fathers feared not. That's right. That's, that's strange to the Most High. And the Most High is jealous. He has a righteous jealousy because we're like his, we're like his bride. And he's, he's, not, he's not dealing with anybody but us, so he expects the same for us, you know? God, precept. Bring it out, Doc. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36 and verse 16. Bring it out. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start at 18. Wherefore I poured my fury upon them, for the blood that they shed upon the land and for the idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries according to their, to their way and according to their doings, I judged them. Right. So the Most High judges us when we do these things. Right. And it's a, it's a strange thing. It's a strange thing worshiping an idol. You know, all, most of us did it back when we was in the world. God. But a lot of these idols is that we worship, that was built with man's hands. Yeah. Right. You know, the, the, the person that made the idol is better than the idol itself. There, there you go. Right. The scriptures so, say that. Yeah. Kind, kind. So, like, if, if you're going to worship something, why not worship the most high power? Oh. Worship something that's actually going to uh, give you substance, that's actually going to put you in a better position. That's, that's right. actually worth worshiping. That's right. Because you know? other, other than, you got a precept about I got a precept for what you just said. Uh, da, 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 da. This is Romans chapter 1 in verse 27. Bring it out. No, 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 no. I want to start at 25. Start at verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? There you go. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. That's right. Who is blessed forever. Amen. All right. So we worshiping the creature. And we have more power than the creature. <laughs> he has way more power than the creature. That's you right. know what I'm saying? So it's like you're going through a, a false middleman. Yeah. That's a, a leading you in the wrong direction. That's right. 
So we need to worship our power the way that he says to worship, as the scripture has said. Uh -huh. You know, we need to come into the culture that he's given us right. and not the culture that America has pushed on us, that we've been raised in, with like this media, with uh, social media, TV, radio. We, we, were, we were poisoned as young children and that poison still in our minds and we got to get out of that. That's right. And the only way to do that is the law, statutes, and commandments, and the faith in Yahweh Shah. That's, That's right. The only way to pull us out. We tried other ways. We tried. We tried history. Yeah. History doesn't really help us. Not without the scriptures. You know. We tried. We tried pulling ourselves up by our bootstraps and coming together and banding it like a militia. That doesn't work either. You know, because at the end of the day, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That's right. So we can't. We can't just grab AKs or try to make bombs in our basement. It ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work. No. It's not, we don't, we don't, you can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Esau, he's the sword of the Most High. That's right. So the only way we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him is with these scriptures and with the spirit. That's right, precept. You know, bring it out. Uh, I'm going to get Psalms 91. No, I'm going to get Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Bring it out. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding. That's hard. What? It's hard. Israel can't understand that. Mm -hmm. That's hard, man. It's it's hard in the beginning, but it's it's really it's really alleviating when you trust in the Most High. Right. Because like you you in your mind you be like maybe I should do it like this, maybe I should do it like that, and then it's fail, and it's all on you because it fell. Yeah. But if you trust in the Most High, you, you you're not gonna get that failure. You, right. you know what I'm saying? Even if you might hit a stumbling block, you might hit a low point, but he gonna bring you up in the end. That's right. You know, and that's that's how we need to live. We need to put our trust in Him when it comes to. Kind, kind. We need to put our trust in him when it comes to to uh, warfare. Right. We need to wait on him. That's we don't right. need to be out here trying to do something ahead of him. And we need to put a trust in him when it comes into our spirituality right. and uh, and all of our learning. Bring okay. it out. This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. Bring it out. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God right. to the pulling down of strongholds. Kind. Because the AK ain't going to pull down this country. <laughs> it's not going to do it. They got tanks. And they got jets. They got things that we don't even know about today. They, right. they got their man-made diseases. Con, con. There's, there's no way. But these scriptures will pull down the whole the whole nation instantly. That's right. right. It'll grieve them to the spirit. It'll, the, the scriptures tell you that the scripture, uh, that, that the word cuts as a two-edged sword. That's yeah. Right. You know, cut them straight to the heart. Yeah. You know, where they will wish, they will wish that we would destroy them carnally. You know, we can bring them to that level, but we have to be that special people to be able to do that. You know, we need to come together. We need to stop scoffing each other. When you dis when when a brother disagrees with you, you can have a civil disagreement. Mm -hmm. You don't gotta you don't gotta you know what I'm saying put a brother on blast and and show his weakness even if the brother is wrong. You can take right. that brother uh, and talk to him individually in private. Right. Hit him with a DM. Call him on the phone. What's that? Like that? That respect. Con, what's con. that? We don't know. We don't know <laughs> respect. <today. laughs> we don't oh, know what's respect. the meaning of this? What's going on here? Oh my God! Oh man! <laughs> we try to use the opportunity of something, someone's low point, to step on them and bring us higher. That's Jake, yo. That's that's that's, that's not brotherly. Shit. That's not brotherly love. That's con. a precept. Bring it out. Five points is this hell. Is book of Hebrews chapter thirteen and verse one. Come on, man, brotherly love continues. That right? Con, con. let it continue. Let it continue. When you see a brother wrong, when you see a brother that you disagree with, fine. We disagree. We co we come in with two different doctrines, two different opinions, but we both believe in Yahweh Shai. We both keep the commandments. We both doing our very best to get up out of this wicked kingdom. That's it, man. So it's like if you can't come together on that, then we can never come together. Can't come. You can never come together. You can't come together on nothing. That's our foundation. Right. That's our foundation, and that's really that's really all we got in this kingdom. So why not why not uh, why not push that? You know what I'm saying? You got a precept, brother? I got a precept for you. Mm -hmm. It's the Book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 10. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love. One of my favorite. Scriptures. In honor, preferring one another. What's that? Kind. How you do that? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Brothers don't want to do that. They don't want to do they that. They don't want to prefer each other. When it comes to finances, a brother got a little business, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, he yeah. might charge a little bit more. But he he needs the money. Quality product. That's and, right. and and he not really charging more. Mm -hmm. He charging fair. Mm -hmm. And the other nations charge unfair. That's kind, right. kind. You know? And on top of that, it's 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 going back into your own people. 
You know what I mean? So I'd rather, I'd rather give $20 to a, for a brother that gives me a product than give $10 to Esau and it goes toward his kingdom. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And that the brother's going to make it with clean hands. Kind, kind. kind. And with, with care. Yeah, kind. If you, like, for example, a restaurant, like if a brother had a restaurant, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Oh, yeah, You can yeah. go in there and not, not have to ask 30,000 questions about the food. You can go in there and be like, hey, let me get that. Instead of like, is it pork in it? Yeah. Uh, uh, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of meat did you use for that? That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, does it have gelatin? Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have to ask all those questions. Because, uh, you know, brothers on the same page as you. Right. Precept, right. right. I'll right. bring it out. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Right. Gather, gather yourselves together. together. That's right. Yay, gather together. Oh, nation, not desire. That's right. Hey, come, come. We got to gather together. We got to gather together for these feast days. We got to gather together for prayer. Yeah. We got to gather together financially. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We got to, like like the brother brought up, we got to prefer one another. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that starts by gathering and getting to know your brother. Shalom. 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 Yeah, uh, I got a piece of you, Okay, come. Wish I could have made it last night. I didn't feel good, man. I, I, I was sick, man. Good thing, could leave her sick now. I laid down. Sick <laughs> 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 too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, What's up? Good. 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 Shame and reproach. Even so shall a sinner that have a double tongue. God, how are you gonna have brotherly love when you have a double tongue? Right. When you're saying, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, behind the brother's back, you're saying, oh, he ain't nothing. But when you get into his face, you're saying, oh, you brought out the scriptures mightily, brother. Faking it. You know what I'm saying? Faking the fun. You know what I'm saying? We can't be like that. Uh, read, read verse two. Verse two. X two. Not thyself in the counsel of thine own heart. Ex extol. Mm. Extol, not the counsel. That's like Locked. um. That's like um. Big yourself up. All right. God. God. Give yourself credit. God. Read Ex again. Extol, not thyself in the counsel of thine own heart, that thy soul be not torn in pieces as a bull straying alone. All right. And that's another thing we can't do. We can't be straying alone. Yeah. Like when I first came into truth. I was trying. I was trying hard to do it by myself. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna read Cyrac by myself. You know? And I sat down and tried to read. I was like, I can't do it. So I had to reach out to other brothers, elder, elder brothers that's been in longer than me, brothers that know the commandments, and brothers have that have a thorough understanding that go into Hebrew, go into uh, all other kind of uh, archaeology and other things like that. Like you can't do that by yourself. It's, right. it's too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, King Solomon says much. Study is weariness of the flesh. That's right. So that's that's true too. Con, con. So when you that's got multiple true. brothers like this brother studying that, you know what I'm saying? He brings something out to me, and uh, I don't have to believe him right away, but I can check where he's coming from. You that's know what I'm saying? So we can't be alone like that straying bull. I got a precept for you. Uh, bring it out. I this is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, and verse 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. And if he hear thee, thou shalt gain thy brother. Con, con, that's how you have brotherly love. That's how you gain a brother. You know, a brother is wrong, a brother's in sin maybe. You know what I'm saying? You go to that brother and you talk to him. Right. And then that brother will be like, oh, I can count on this brother to not put me on blast that's when right. I fall down. That double tongue. You that's know what I'm right. saying? Con, con. So that, that's what we have to do. And it's not even really all that difficult. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully you do that to a brother, the brother will return that same kindness on you. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we Like the, like the scriptures say, we're supposed to treat each other like we treat ourselves. That's you right. know what I'm saying? And you wouldn't, know, you wouldn't want nobody else to blast you on the internet in front of random people you don't even know, giving you that ill name. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's hard to get rid of a false ill name. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures tell you that as well, I'm sorry. Right.
Um, you know, it's, it's up to us. You know, it's hard to change your brother. It's, it's easier to change yourself. So, you know, when we adopt that mentality ourselves, then we can move forward in brotherly love. That's right. Um, I got a good set. Teach, teach. It's good. The word is good. Okay, um, after you get a couple more presets, we're gonna stop the camera, all right? And we're gonna go to the uh, you, uh, live. Because I uh, wanna keep them clips, because we gotta, the clips that we just used, that's what we're gonna make the video with. Because he, he ex explained himself well, and uh, I, everything was in it. Brothers greeting each other, everything was already done. That fast. Sorry, sorry. So, we're gonna switch over to Facebook Live. Uh, uh, can you give me a uh, Cyrac 19 and start at verse 7? Uh, bring it out. All right, this is the book of Ephesians, chapter 4. In verse 32, and be, and be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Kind, kind, kind. That's what we got to do. Because picture it like the scriptures will tell you it's like this. How is my brother going to wrong me and I not forgive him? And I've wronged Yahweh multiple time after time, and he's seen it every time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Why would he forgive me? You know? So if you want, if you want that kindness, you got to give that kindness. If you want that love, you got to give that love. All right, bring, bring that out. Up. The book of, of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 7. Bring it out. Rehearse not unto another that which is told unto thee, and thou shalt fare never the worse. Con, con, don't repeat what a brother said something. If a brother said something to you in private, in confidence, don't repeat that to other brothers. That's right. Like, why would you do that? You know what I mean? The brother obviously trusted you if he told you something. Con. Right, read. Whether it be to friend or foe, talk not of other men's lives. And if thou canst without offense, reveal them not. That's right. Con, we're special people. And being special, you know, if you're a special unto the most high, you're not a gossiper. You know what I'm saying? It don't go together. You know? You uh, read on. For he heard and observed thee, and when time cometh, he will hate thee. Mm. If thou hast heard a word, let it die with, with thee. thee. Tom, right. Let it die with you. you got a precept. It's not that hard. You know what I'm saying? You hear something, you're like, oh. And you don't even know if it's true or not. And you put it out in front of the whole public, you might be uh, bearing a false witness. That's right. Too, you know? Man. In Sirach 6 and 16, when you finish that. Uh, keep, keep reading. And be bold. It will not burst thee. Con, it's not going to make you yeah. burst. It's not going to hurt. You'll, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. So you don't got to you gotta, you gotta spread everything you hear. You know, if, if it's something to keep a brother safe, that's another story. That's right. And if you do got to talk about somebody, like the scriptures say, you don't got to say his name. That's you know what I'm saying? Good. It's like, this individual, this happened to me. Somebody did this. And leave it at that. That's right. All right, bring it out. Up. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 6 and verse 16. Bring it out. A faithful friend is the medicine of life. Con. And they that fear the Lord shall find him. Con, con. The faithful friend is the medicine of life. You know, you might be hurt about something that you did wrong and you call a brother. You call a, you call a brother. 10 o'clock. Oh, the water, the water. <laughs> 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night. You know what I'm saying? You call that brother, and that brother might give you some scriptures. Uh, Is that the bad mic? I don't, really, I don't really want the mic too much anyway, to be honest with you. Read as usual. Read, read. Con. That, uh, that, brother, that brother might say something to you, you know, to put your spirit at ease, to give you that medicine and heal you. You know what I mean? Hey, repent there, brother, and get out of that situation. That's that, that's not a you know what I'm saying that's not a that's not a holy person. That's Jake. That's not a special. That joke you know what I'm saying? Sound like he, no, like go ahead. Go ahead. He had a voice like you always shout. Stop. Don't do that. 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 The scriptures do not teach that. Yo, you know, it, completely contrary. Yeah. All right, bring it out, up. A fool traveling with a word as a woman in labor of a child. 
as an arrow that sticketh in a man's thigh, so is a word within a fool's belly. Mm. Time. That's going to something else. Time. They're going to something else. I like what you mm -hmm. All right, bring it out. Huh? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 25 and verse 9. Bring it out. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, mm -hmm. and discover not a secret to another. Okay. What is that? Okay. Israel don't know how to do that. They gotta mm -hmm. tell everybody secret. They gotta go on a show. Mm -hmm. right. show. And and lie. Right. Or, right. What's that? Okay. And how do you, how do you feel big about putting another brother down? You know what I'm saying? Hey, like what is it? That doesn't give you nothing. That doesn't give you nothing. Shout fellowship. This winter time camp. Shout out for our uh Israelite Wendy Williams. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 weird. That's strange to the most. That's weird. That's weird.